Hello, ladies. It's Beth from Be Styled live on a Friday afternoon in June. It's been a long time since I did this. Um, and I'm back. <laughs> it's been, as we all have no, it's been a crazy several months. Several months. Um, does anyone feel like like they're coming out of hibernation? I don't know. Um, anyway, summer's here. I want to talk about summer. I want to talk about something fun, something better than what we've been talking about. Um, and uh, anyway, I want to talk about summer. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, as you may have seen or may not have seen, I posted a summer wardrobe checklist on Facebook, and it's going to go out on Sunday in my newsletter as well. But rather than doing a summer style system program, I decided to just do a free summer checklist because spring was kind of a bust. Um, I know people aren't shopping and I, I totally appreciate that. I'm cutting back, trying to cut back on shopping. I have to do some shopping for my work, but um, I'm encouraging you not to do a lot of shopping. So what I did is I created a 24 page or 24 piece sort of called a capsule called a collection a checklist items basic items that i know you have in your closet um, and it's just a guide so you can take this checklist to your closet and go through it go through everything and as i say in the guide the important thing when you're in your closet looking for these things um, is to be very critical of you know the things that make the cut and maybe you're doing a little um, pseudo closet cleanse in the process and eliminating things that really have no business being in your closet um, but go through your closet and assemble these 24 things um, i'm not telling you to you know then get rid of everything else and just you know live off a 24 piece capsule that's some people love to do that if that's what you want to do knock yourself out but um what I want you to do is just ha have the basics and have them identified so that every day when you get dressed, it's literally a matter of just swapping things out. Everything mixes and matches and works together. So you'll never, you should hopefully never be, in a, if you have all these items set up, you'll never be in a position where you don't have anything to wear. Okay. Um, this is geared mostly towards a somewhat casual lifestyle or work from home life lifestyle but everything can be adapted to go to an office as well. So that's always been my, my approach. Okay, so I, I'm putting the link to that blog post. All it is is a blog post. You don't have to pay anything. You don't have to even download it. If you want to download, there is a downloadable list. If you want to download the list and print it out, that's you know free and you can take it into your closet. If you're a list maker and you like to check boxes, you can check the boxes. But before you check a box, make sure that what you're checking off is correct for example um you know the pants pants are hard i've always said they are the hardest thing so maybe start with the pants well when you're feeling energetic and you're in a good mood start with the pants there's only maybe three or four pairs in the collection denim white olive that's it three pairs of pants that's pretty much what I wear all summer long are those three pairs of pants. Um, and go, but, but, but before they make the cut, try them on, make sure they fit you, make sure they are in style. As I said in the, in the post, um, unfortunately, things like pants and shoes specifically go out of style pretty cyclically. You know, I would say two to three years, five years on the outside. And that's just the way it is. Um, you know, styles change. And so if you want to look modern and feel kind of hip and modern, you do have to rotate things. Not every season, not every year, but every few years, okay? So, um, you know, I've put some suggestions. I include a wide range of price points from very affordable to, you know, more moderately priced. Nothing in there is really that expensive. Um, everything is well, most everything is under a hundred dollars, well under a hundred dollars. So anyway, go through the, go through the checklist and then, um, you're, you're going to be in good shape, but you're going to head over to the Facebook group. If you have any questions about, um, this Facebook group that you're in right now, 
If you have any questions about what to get, what looks right on you, post your pictures, get advice. It's a private group. It's a great group of women. We'll give you support and help. I'm going to look down for a second and see who's here. If Facebook will let me. Oh, look at this fun group. Oh my gosh. If only I could see. Has anyone else's vision gone like down the tubes? I think it's the pandemic is killing my eyes because I'm on my computer all the time. But hi, everyone. I don't like to call people out necessarily because for all I know, you're in the office and you know you don't want your boss to know that you're on Facebook. But actually, no one's in offices anymore, are they? So anyway, hi, everyone. Carol and Sarah and Lori and Nancy and Patty and Anne-Marie, Lori, Bronwyn. So much fun. So many fun people. Anyway, so head to that Facebook page. For, I'm not sorry. Head to that blog post, get your checklist, summer checklist. It's simple. Summer should be simple. Don't do a lot of shopping. Fill in where you need. I give lots of suggestions. If you're at a loss, I am willing to, I'm happy to help. All that information is in the blog post. But today, I want to answer any questions you have. So if you have questions, go ahead and type away and hopefully I'll see them and Facebook will let me see them. Hi, Andrea. Patty. Close vision, terrible, especially as the, it goes into evening. I know this, this is a new thing. I used to be able to, to see pretty well without readers. You know, I could, now I honestly can't read just about anything without readers on. So they're every, I have them scattered everywhere. I put them everywhere in my house. Cause I, and then I still never have them when I need them. Um, but Hi, Diana. Anyway, we have a great group. So I'm hoping you have questions. I didn't expect to have so many people since I haven't done this for so long. Um, but I'm going to run through. I think I have four summer dressing tips for you. Okay. Um, I know a lot of you are in areas where it is hot. The other day, it was like 105 and somewhere in Texas, maybe. I don't know. Let me know what kind of weather you have. I'm actually freezing right now in my air conditioned house. It's only I don't know what it is outside. I haven't been outside yet. I'm going out right after this to the pool. But um, it's not, we haven't had really hot weather. 80s, it's been beautiful. I uh, believe me, I'm not complaining. But if you live in an area, when a lot of you do, where it is just brutally hot, um, summer dressing is tricky because, you know, I always talk about adding a third piece and layering and how you get so much interest from your outfit when you wear different things like, you know, belts and cool shoes. Well, if it's 95 degrees, you know, 100 degrees, you're probably not wearing a belt. You're probably not even wearing shoes, right? Or at least not closed toe shoes. You're wearing sandals. You're not wearing layers. Um, so there are some easy ways to still feel put together and dressed without, you know, sweltering to death. So my number one is accessorize. Now I know a lot of times in the summer we say, oh man, I'm not putting on a necklace, it's hot, I'm not going anywhere. Why not? You own necklaces. I know every single one of you here own necklaces. You've gotten them as gifts. You have bought them from me maybe, from Jamie if she's on. You, you own necklaces. Why don't people wear necklaces in the summer? I want to know that. Now, granted, I cut back on necklaces. I don't wear a lot of heavy necklaces, which I, you know, I love statement, cool statement necklaces. I wear them most of the year, but not as much in the summer. But I still wear a necklace almost every day. And what I normally do is I wear a necklace like this, a, a, a very delicate necklace. Um, this is called the Carry K-A-R-I pendant um, from Stella and Dot. And it comes with a long gold, like very modern, sleek pendant. It's this double piece. So I wear them separately or together, but today I'm just wearing a tank. So I, I, I think I had it on yesterday and I left it on. So I wear something like this almost every day. Um, and why, you ask? I don't know. I just like the way it looks and I feel more put together when I have a necklace on. It's just the way, it just, it, it, it triggers something in my brain when I have a necklace on. I'm a psychology major. I should do a, write a paper about this maybe, but just try it. It will make you feel better. It'll make you feel more put together. Throw a necklace on. The, the, the trend in jewelry these days are definitely the more dainty, simple necklaces. I don't mean the, the, the necklace your mother maybe wore back, you know, that was like a little tiny chain that's really old. And I don't mean that. It still needs to be, have like a, some, a cool factor and be modern, but it, the, the simple, delicate necklaces are very on trend. So make sure you have one. 
you don't have to spend a lot of money, but get a good one. And I also, in the capsule or in the collection, you're gonna see I specified gold. And now I know some of you are saying, but Beth, I don't wear gold. Um, I would argue that everyone can wear gold. There are very few people whose, you know, coloring, you know, means that they can't wear gold. Maybe someone told you when you got your colors done once that silver's better for you. That's probably right. I'm sure those, that person knew what they were talking about. But I still think you can wear gold. And in the summer especially, gold just, uh, it, 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 and it's more on trend. It, it is. I mean, there's. I still wear silver. I wear both. If you won't wear all gold, at least wear a two-tone. Throw a little gold on with your silver. It's just a, a modern look. Um, and summer and gold just go together as far as I'm concerned. So I'm not telling you you can't wear silver. I'm definitely not saying that. Look at me. I mean, if you, I wear silver at least once or twice a week. But if I had to pick one for the summer, I'd, I'd pick a gold necklace and gold hoops. Um, I'm wearing just CZ studs right now. That's all I wear in the summer. Gold hoops, my, my oval-shaped Stellan Dot gold hoops, and I wear studs all the time. Um, and then if I'm feeling frisky and I'm not, and I don't feel like wearing a necklace, I will wear very cool, big, colorful earrings. I still love that look. Not everyone does. You do you. If you wouldn't be caught dead in big gold and big colorful necklace or earrings, then don't feel like you have to, but I think they're fun. But anyway, so you're going to accessorize. You can accessorize without adding to the heat factor. Um, add color to your outfit without adding heat. La da dee! If you get my newsletter, you know about my obsession with these bracelets. These happen to be, this, is, this one isn't, but these happen to be from Anthropology. You can get them in a set of three for $40, I think. You pick which ones you want. I just got a mishmash of them. They are like little tiles. What's the trick so you can see? You have to go like this, I think. Can you see that? Anyway. There they are. <laughs> They're just cool. I love them. A couple of you, I know Carol got them and Elise got them. They're stretchy um, and they are, they're inexpensive, but they are not cheap. I, I, I hesitate to get really cheap, cheap um, jewelry. Certain things you can get away with, most things you can't. These do not look cheap. They have some gold detail. Um, there's a trick to this. You'd think, oh yeah, I'm a real professional here. Some neat, they have some neat detail. What's the trick all the bloggers do? <laughs> anyway, add some, you know, bracelets are a fun way to add some interest in color and pattern without adding layers. Have fun with it. Show your personality. You don't need to copy this if, it does, if you don't like it. Go to your, go to your, steal, go to your daughter. If you have teenage or older daughters, go steal her stuff. She might have like those friendship bracelets. And, and the key is just stack them on. And don't worry about matching. Like, don't be like, well, I'm wearing a blue top, so I'm going to wear blue. M mix in colors. Contrast colors. Have fun. Let, let your personality show with your accessories. Have fun. That's what it's all about. Okay? Do we have any questions? Not yet. Um, okay. Accessorize. Simple necklace, maybe. And then have fun with, with your bracelets. Maybe get a right hand ring with like a cool turquoise stone, or maybe you already have one. Chances are you might already have one. Like a, a cool, you know, ring on your middle finger, especially as opposed to your ring finger, or even your pointer finger, and like a chunky, cool ring that maybe you got on vacation in Mexico that you love. Break it out and wear it on a Tuesday afternoon. Why not? You own it, right? Um, okay. And the final thing as far as accessorizing goes, is something that I put in the on the checklist, and that is a kimono. They're everywhere. Um, there are some really bad kimonos, I have to say. I mean, I put one on the in the in the capsule that's from Amazon that looks good to me. I might order it just to try it. Um, there was only one pattern that that wasn't just like. Again, it's if, if you like the pattern, that's the important thing. Patterns are very personal. When you click on the picture, if it's if it if you love it, then it's then it's for you. It's almost like artwork. It has to appeal to your to your taste. Um, there were a lot that I didn't like. There was one that I did. That being said, over on Anthropology where I got these, there are some gorgeous ones. I have not pulled the trigger. They are not inexpensive. They are gorgeous though, 
and they've had them for years and they're not going anywhere. They, um, they're almost like a scarf, you know, they're always going to be in style. You can always throw it on and it's so lightweight and, and loose and flowy. You can wear it with a, the, a tank top or a camisole, like practically nothing and throw that on and you've got coverage, you've got arm coverage, but you're not hot. And you just wear that with a pair of jean shorts or a pair of jeans or a pair of white linen pants, you know, like those wide leg white linen pants and a white top and then this a kimono. And that could be your going out uniform all summer long. It's, you know, a long necklace, good stuff. So a kimono, look around, you know, and don't go too, too cheap, cheap, cheap. Feel, you don't want it to, you don't want it to have that be that like plasticky feeling, really ultra polyester stiff material. You want it to have like a, a silky feel to it. it. Doesn't have to be silk, but have a silky feel to it. So trial and error. I'm going to order the Amazon one, so I will report back on that. But I guarantee that that the Anthropology ones are really good. Um, and maybe you already have one because they've been they've been appearing on must have lists for several summers, and I don't see them going anywhere. Um, you know, at this point. Okay. Number, that was all about accessorizing. Number two, the color white. I love white in the summer. Wear white. When in doubt, wear white. Um, and I had just got this literally before I went on. This white lace tops are very on trend and a great way of, you know, just looking put together looking on trend without going crazy and they don't have to be that hot this is one that has arm coverage i know that people a lot of people love to have arm coverage without it being hot and it's from amazon and it was 24 dollars. and i and i was very skeptical um because i'm very skeptical these days of amazon and and whatnot but i have to say other than it being a wrinkled mess i need to steam it which i didn't have time to do i'd say it's a winner haven't tried it on but look at that it, speaking of anthropology, this looks like it could come from anthropology with the details it has. It's beautiful lace, it has lace on the back, lace on the front, it's got a great flattering V-neck. Um, it has, it does button, nothing special about the buttons. Um, it has very nice flow, see the flow and drape? It has a nice shape, nice flattering shape, it's not boxy. It has beautiful sleeves. And yeah, this with, I mean, I would wear this with jeans, jean shorts with white for an all white story and some brown leather wedge sandals, very chic, some colorful accessories. Check out this top. I, I think it's a winner. It's, um, it's on the capsule list, a white lace top. And this one is on in the, um, comments of this video so white make white white dresses are fantastic um if you're in the market for a, a white a white dress that's just above the knee that's kind of a shift shape um sheath sheath shape kind of a little kind of straight but um has a uh halter neckline you saw me wear it in blue last summer like once a week <laughs> if you know me it's um 50% off right now at Peach. It's 50% off the sale price, so I think it's like $24. Um, it's a secret sale that's not so secret on this page because I've told you all about it. I kind of broke a rule there, but don't tell anyone. Anyway, um, and um, I will post, if you go, if you, I'll just tell you right now, if you go to um, the Peach website, I'm gonna type it in. There it is. You're gonna use code, um, code, I gotta remember the code. It'll come to me. There's a code. VIP 24. VIP 24 hours. VIP 24 hours. There are dresses that are on sale for 50% off. Not all of them, but the one I just described is. It's called the Isla. I S L A. Comes in a royal blue, which I wore again all last summer, and a white, which I have now. Um, it's a fantastic dress. A lot of you have it. You got to see it to believe it. It's a really, really fantastic dress. It doesn't cling in the stomach. It hangs kind of straight, gives a little bit of shape, but it's not, it's not a fit and flare. Um, if you have a, if you are a, a pear shape, 
with a much heavier bottom than top, it it might the, the might be an issue, um, but it might not actually. I'm, I'm thinking out loud. Ultra curvy figures, it doesn't have a defined waist. So, and by curvy, I mean like hourglass or pear. It might not be ideal, but it's, I've seen it on, I've, if, if you're here, I've seen it on um, some hourglass shapes and it looks amazing. So anyway, look at the, look at the, look at the, uh, the website. I'm going to post that right there. Hopefully that worked. Um, so white, white dresses, white tops, white shorts, white pants. I even have white sandals now. Never thought I'd, I, and I got these at Walmart. I posted these here too. They are so comfortable. I forget I have them on half the time. Um, white sneakers. You know how I want you to have white, white leather sneakers or canvas in the summer. White is your friend. Okay. Number three, I talk about basics all the time. In the summer, I want you to think about those beyond basics. So when you're looking for a black t-shirt or a tank or a white t-shirt, if, especially if you live in an area where you're not going to be layering, make sure your top can stand on its own. So make sure it's in good shape, that it's decent quality, so that you know it, when you're wearing that, that t-shirt or tank, it, it looks good, right? Because you're not going to be throwing stuff over it. You know, in the winter, you can layer things over, thing, over tops and they're not quite as important. In the summer, they have to stand on their own. So um, you know, make sure you have high quality and also consider beyond basic tops. You know, something maybe with a little bit of a detail, maybe there's a little ruffle or um, you know, a peplum or some sort of detail so that it's, it's, it can stand on its own and be a little more interesting, okay? So think about that when you're, if you're shopping, think about, for my basics, does this have a little something interesting? So when it stands on its own, it's, it, it can do that and not be too boring. Although I personally love boring clothes, as you know, I love my basics. Um, but think about beyond basics. And then my last thing was the one and done dress because if you're going to buy, if you're going to have one thing, if you can, if I told you you can only wear one thing for the rest of the summer, it would I'd probably say make it a dress because for one thing, it's one and done. It's easy. It doesn't have to stick to your body. You don't have to zipper it. You don't have to button it. Um, it's cool. It's lightweight. Um, so have a couple day dresses, I call them, summer dresses that you can throw on and feel great in. I recommend having a solid one, maybe a pattern one, and then like a, a black or navy or dark gray, neutral, darker one that, that can be very versatile and can be dressed up. It can be more work appropriate. Um, but, and then if you can have a white one too, four dresses, you'd be, you could dress all summer with those four dresses and then your accessories. Um, so that, is what I have for you. I'm trying to think if I have anything else. Does anyone have any questions about summer, about dressing, about anything at all? Um, fire away. Oh, I wasn't scrolling. You may have been talking to me. Oh, you were talking to me. Oh, Carol is curvy and has the Isla dress. It's Isla, I-S-L-A. Carol, can you tell me if I put the, if I got the right um, sale code for Peach, if you're still there, Carol, VIP 24 hours, it might be, oh man. If, if one of my Peach friends is here, can you just let me know if I got that right? Because that, um, po that link that I just posted to Peach and that code, um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it doesn't apply to everything on the site. It only applies to the certain flash sale things that they featured last night and it ends at 7.59 p.m. Eastern time tonight that those things are no longer on sale. It's, it was just dresses and bags. Um, if, you, if you're interested and have a question about which ones, I can, I can just message me. But in a nutshell, the Isla dress that I described that comes in black and white is, um, I mean, white and blue, I'm sorry, is on the sale, not sure about availability. There's a great fit and flare dress called the Loretto in black that is, if, speaking of, hourglasses and pairs it's made for you ladies it's got a v-neck it's got a um it's kind of not a cap sleeve almost a cap sleeve um full it's a full sleeve that ends here what would you call that um 
In other words, it's not like a spaghetti strap. And it's fit and flare. It's It's got nice room around the hips. It ends above the knee, but not too far. And it's in black. And you could wear it. I mean, I would wear it in the fall with a blazer. It's, it's a nice material. Um, definitely all through the spring and summer as well. That's available for 50% off, 50% off. And it's if it was on sale, it's 50% off the sale price as well. Um, there's a gorgeous maxi dress that's got a very skinny stripe. It's a, it's a horizontal stripe that's very graphic. So it, it's, it's not a big wide stripe, which um, people usually avoid. Um, but a thin stripe is actually very slimming don't listen to you, despite what your mother maybe told you, thin stripes are very flattering. Um, there's a, So that's the Ensenada maxi dress. And the, uh, there, there was a really cute black dress that sold out, the Havana sold out. I think that's it. I think that's it for dresses that are 50% off. And then there's a bag. If anyone remembers the black quilted bag that I was stressed, you know, deciding whether to get or not, it's now 50% off. I just ordered it great for a gym bag for a work bag for an overnight bag it's 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 this quilted comes in silver or black it's very cool very on trend your teenage daughters would love it too for like sleepovers or going to college um, and then there's a crossbody and a tote that comes with a crossbody that are by pixie moon who is an oprah favorite they come in like a pale pale blush and a gray gray blue gorgeous colors for summer they actually were in my capsule as well and now they're 50% off the sale price. So they're like $20, $25 or something for gorgeous, gorgeous bags. So check that out at Discover Peach. And hopefully I have the code right. If you're trying to order and the code is not right, just message me and I will correct it. Um, what else? I think that's all I have for you ladies. But, um, oh, it's VP, VIP 24 hours. Is that what I wrote? VIP, VIP 24 hours, yes. That is what I, I wrote. Oh, and um, so it is VIP 24 hours is the code. Lori asked about the denim jacket, which is definitely not on sale at all because it's brand new and it is, oh, I wish I had it here. It's fantastic. It is the best white denim jacket I've ever seen. Um, it's better than the cut from the cloth, much better than the cut from the cloth. It's a little bit, it's a great length. It is so stretchy. I don't know what they made out of it. It looks like denim. It kind of feels like denim on the outside, but it is stretchy flattering it's gorgeous and it's not on sale but it's it's worth i think it's 99 dollars, and it is worth that and more trust me um i'm gonna i'm so cold that i'm gonna put this i want to show you this this is another um, item from summer these things are not on sale but this this is the top um this watermelon top neon um is one of the summer items that i've been wearing on repeat i just love it i wear it to work out and then i wear it like i did today this is called the, the, I forget what it's called, tree, the tree something. But anyway, it's like, I call it a summer hoodie. It is a mesh hoodie. I wear all the time. In fact, it has a stain on it, <laughs> I noticed. But, um, and I love it over the neon tank because again, it just gives me coverage, especially in the air conditioning, um, but it's not warm. It's not too warm. It'd be perfect at the beach, out at the pool. Um, and I like how, you know, you can see through it. So you could wear it with um, something, a top underneath, and you can see a little bit of the color. Um, but again, you're not going to, it's not like putting a, a big hoodie on where you, you know, are freezing, to, where, you're, where you're hot. So this is a great thing to have. You know, everybody's going to be sitting outside with friends for the foreseeable future. So when it gets a little chilly, you can put this on and you're still wearing your cute outfit. Like let's say you had on you know, white jeans and a really cute top and you're with your friends having cocktails outside, sun goes down and it gets cold, instead of putting on like a fleece jacket and wrecking your outfit, you put this cute little number on or you put the cute white denim jacket on and you're still summery looking and adorable and great looking, but you're, you're warm as well. So that is that message. Let's see, yes, I had the correct code. The vegan tote is awesome, and it's $24. That's that's the pixie moon I was talking about. $24. It's a v big, beautiful tote. Vegan looks looks like the real deal, for sure. Oprah uh, Oprah picked it, as a matter of fact. And um, it's $24, and it comes with a crossbody bag, like a nice size crossbody bag in the same color. It comes in a pale pink and a pale blue. 
that are neutrals. They're like, you know, they don't screen color at all. They're neutral. You can wear those colors with, whoops, anything. Um, thank you, Carol. $24. Yes, indeed. And if, let's say you place an order um, from the first night, if, if any of you were in on the flash sale where these tops were on sale and this strappy bra that I wear every day was on sale for 50% off. If you order for, from that flash sale, those items are no longer on sale, but you can order one of the dresses or bags and get free shipping because you paid for shipping the first night. So you don't need to pay for shipping again. Okay, so I highly recommend just poking over at the site. It's discover, It's not peach.com, it's discoverpeach.com slash S slash Beth R, but the, the link is here. Let's see, Nancy, what size do you wear in the Isla dress? I wear small. Um, I know I've, I think I had, I, I've, I've had two because I had the blue one. Might have been an extra small, but I know I got the white in a small. I think I'm a small. Um, don't tell the peach people I said this, but I do tell people order, if you're on the fence, order, if they're both available, order both and return one if you really aren't sure um, because shipping, return shipping is free. Um, I know it's not the best for the, our carbon footprint, but um, sometimes you got to do what you got to do in this virtual world of shopping, right? Um, so what other questions do I have? Yep. And the Loretto is the dress that Carol is saying it's a winner for curvy girls. It sure is. Um, and let's see, she or and so did Patty order the Loretto. Yeah. And the beauty, like Patty said, the beauty of the Loretto is, um, it's a definite dress up or dress down. It's, it's regular bra friendly. Um, it has, it has a, a V-neck, but not too deep, but a flattering V-neck. It's not a really wide V-neck, but it's, it's a nice flattering V-neck. Um, and you can, it is just the perfect canvas because it is so, such a flattering cut, but you can wear it with a jean jacket or the white jean jacket, a denim jean jacket. You could wear it with, um, I mean, I would throw something like this over it too. You could wear it very casually with, with this over it. It'd be so cute because you'd see the the black through it and then it almost looked like a little skirt and a pair of white your white leather sneakers that I told you you had to have um, or you could wear it with flip-flops and a kimono um, you could wear it if it's hot just just as it is and throw on a cool pair of earrings and your little maybe a little necklace and some bracelets if you're feeling really crazy and wear it with a pair of, of um, neutral heeled sandals and go out to dinner if you're allowed to where you live or at a friend's house if you want to make it a little dressier. Um, you could wear it to work, throw the Ponty blazer over it and wear it to work with a pair of pumps or a pair of loafers, a pair of flats, ballet flats or, um, you know, like pointy loafers and head on to the office if you're allowed to go to the office. It's, it's, just, it's just a very, very versatile dress. Um, and it's, it's, it's great. Great. Um, so I hope I hope it works for you, Patty. But the beauty of Peach is, um, yes, you do pay for shipping in one direction. They can't. A company like Peach really can't make free shipping both ways. It, it pains me as well because I pride myself in really never paying shipping anywhere. But um, I understand for a small startup like Peach, it's just it, it's not it's not possible for them to do free shipping in both directions. But they do do free return shipping. And if you place an order and then you place a, a subsequent order within 48 hours, you get free shipping on the subsequent order. So that's a, that's a good deal. So you don't have to feel like you have to, you know, buy everything. And then so you can you can buy something and then sleep on it overnight and say, yeah, I think I do want that other thing and add it and you'll get free shipping on the sub, a subsequent order. I like that feature that that's a creative way of handling the shipping when you're a small business. Um, what else? Do I have any other questions from you lovely ladies? This has been fun. I've, I've said it before. I honestly do dread doing these. I do. It's, you know, they kind of get everything set up and half the time doesn't work. And I, you know, like it's a, it's an odd thing to sit and talk to people that can't talk back. But once I start, I generally like it. And it's because of you ladies. So thank you for interacting with me. It makes it a lot less painless, painful when I feel like I'm having a conversation. Um, but let's see. Oh, let's see. Pa <laughs> Sorry. Patty, I have this kimono in color four and five. I've decided, 
So it's not boxy looking. It looks better on than in the photos. Oh, is she going to send me a picture? Some of the kimonos are too long or scratchy. Yes, you don't want scratchy. Did you send me? Oh, there they are. I'm afraid if I click on this, Patty, I'm going to leave. So I can't pick up, click on it. But that's very helpful. Does anyone else have a kimono they can share with us? Um, and it doesn't have to be a wild, crazy floral. I mentioned this in the blog post. I'm not a big floral person, um, but some people are. I'm on, a, I'm on a video. Here come the, the troops coming home from working in the coal mine all day. Anyway, fine. It's, again, it's, I, I liken it to artwork. Everyone has a different, different taste. Things speak to you. Find a pattern that speaks to you. Or maybe it's a solid. You might be able to find a, a solid kimono with maybe some lace cutouts or something that gives you that third layer um, in a solid. If you find something like that, let me know, because I do love my solids. But the beauty of a pattern is that you can wear all solids underneath, or you could wear, you know, a monochromatic deal, same color top and bottom, or a dress, and then by throwing the pattern on, you know, you're just adding some interest. Um, but look for drapiness, and look for, look for something that's got the right kind of cut for you, that's not going to be too voluminous you don't want to look like mod <laughs> um and you want it to be the right length and i can't tell you which one to get specifically on a call like this but if you if you want my help just reach out to me um but trial and error is often the case so again since we can't be going to stores um i don't think most places you well, maybe some of you probably can go to stores i know i i'm not going to stores the only store i would go to is Wish in West Acton. And I think they are open and they are, um, I think you can go in, they can have a certain number of people in the store at a time. A boutique like that, go to your local boutiques. I bet you they have kimonos or something like that. A, a lightweight la layer, third piece, accessory, whatever you want to call it, that can just transform your summer basics. Um, that's what that's if, if you don't want to go the Amazon route or you don't want to spend the money on the anthropology one, which I'm it's just it's, it's one of those things that I, I keep thinking about it. And I honestly might might just pull the trigger and then pass up on other things, you know, other three spend the 80. I think it's $80. Spend the $80 and then pass up the three twenty five dollar things I don't need. That's kind of the way I'm trying to, to shop more these days. Get something that I really love that I will just see hanging in my closet and just be like, oh, I'm so glad I got that. And usually when I get it at a place like Anthropology, the th things that I have from Anthropology, I feel that way about them. And I have them for years. I mean, I think of like a sweater I got that was really expensive. And I thought, this is crazy. When I wear that sweater, I, I am so happy I spent the money on it. Um, Oh, Patty wants to know about nice reading glasses. Yeah, what does anyone have reading glasses they recommend? Is Mary Ellen still here? Is she still on? Mary Ellen is a Mary Ellen is, is the greatest source for for things like that. I would be curious, Mary Ellen, if you're there or if you catch this or if anyone, I might what reading glasses you get because I glasses are new to me. I I just buy them on Amazon, cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, so anyone have a pair that they that they love? Um, there's a blogger I follow, and she, but she's in England, and she has the best reading glasses. And I, and I looked up the brand, and now I can't remember what it is. But I'll, I will. Um, Peepers, Peepers is a good brand. They're pretty bold. If you, if you want a very modern one, Peepers are on Amazon, but it's a, it's a well-known eyewear brand. Um, but you gotta, you gotta, you know, find the ones that are right for you. Um, Oh, it's so good to see you guys. Thank you so much for spending your Friday afternoon with me. There's Donna. Donna, oh, I forgot about the Simply Soft. Donna mentioned the, the Peach Simply Soft 180 dress, which is not on the half off sale because it's it's just too, it's it's a classic that they will, it's one of their essentials they'll have forever. It is a, I, I would call it a tank dress. I've worn it a million times. I have pictures of it. Um, it's called the 180 dress because you can wear it two, you can flip it. You can wear it two different ways with a lower scoop neckline or a higher neckline. And then in the back, it's the opposite. It has pockets, floating pockets. So whichever direction you wear it in, there are pockets. Sorry about the, sorry about the voices in the background. Ah, it's black. It only comes in black. Um, but it's, again, it is, and it's, it's 
flowy. It is flowy. It's fitted here and then it just flows over the hips. It doesn't cling anywhere. It is not short. It is a knee length dress. dress. It's So it, it's office appropriate. You can wear it with a blazer to the office. Um, it's a great dress. It is a tank dress, but it is not a cheapo looking tank dress. Um, which there's a place for cheapo looking tank dresses. Sorry. Um, I'll close the door. I'm, I'm a believer in having, you know, a cheapo tank dress for like the pool, the beach. Old Navy has them. Target has them. Amazon has them. Um, but this is a quality dress that is the shape of a tank dress, but it, it, it's beautiful fabric. It's the same fabric as the modern bohos. I believe it's the same fabric. That simple peaches um, signature simply soft fabrication. It's gorgeous. Donna, thank you for reminding me about that dress. I wish I, I wish it was on the, the sale that's going on until tonight, but it is not. There was a similar one that was on sale, very similar, that sold out in a hot minute. Um, you know, I wish it came in indigo too. That's a really good um, suggestion. That's the kind of dress I would love to have them come out in navy as well, because navy is a great alternative to black. Some people don't like wearing black if they think it's too harsh. Um, this black dress I don't think is because it's not, there's no, it's not up by your face. It's just, again, it's a perfect versatile blank slate piece. Um, let's see, Andrea, hi Andrea. A summer skirt, you know, that's a good question. I have been a failure when it comes to skirts. I, I admit it. I, I, have, I don't even know if I own more than one. I own the, the peach black skirt. I don't own any skirts. And that's a mistake I need to work on. Um, so Andrea, I'm going to write that down. Or if anyone here has a skirt that they love, I mean, midi skirts are very popular. And I, I see them and I love them. I just never pull the trigger on them. Um, but if anyone has a summer skirt, the dog, that they know and love, post it here. Let Andrea know. And Andrea, I will do some research. I do have skorts. I love a good skort. Peach has a skort. Um, I've seen, I think Talbot's has a nice longer skort. Uh, so it's a, you know, the skirt with the shorts hidden underneath. Um, but I'm thinking you're thinking of like a, a dressier skirt for, for work to wear to school or, um, you know, maybe something with a little bit of flow. And I, I like that idea too. So I will look. Uh, good question. Let's see. Oh, Coles has one. Lori, Kohl's has what? Because I bet Kohl's has uh, kimonos. Is that what you're referring to? Kohl's is probably a good spot to look for kimonos too. I wonder if they've opened up. I don't think so. I never go to Kohl's. Kohl's gives me a big headache. They have some great prices, but you have to weed through so much. Um, I've never had any luck there. Um, but let's see. I think that covers all the questions. I think it does. So unless anyone has anything else, going once. Oh, kimono, so Kohl's. You know, I might, I will poke around on their website because I do all my shopping online and I, that's that's a good idea. Because I, I bet they have the very reasonably priced too. Um, anyway, let us know. If anyone finds a kimono, please post it. Right, You can just post it right in this, um, thread so that we can all go back and check. And um, Mary Ellen, if you can tell us what your reading glasses are, I'm guessing she, Mary Ellen probably has really cool reading glasses. And what else? I think that covers all the questions. Um, ladies, have a great weekend. And I will see you. And I'm going to try to do this every week. I probably will be on Thursdays. I will post a reminder. The Rewind brand at Kohl's, Lori Butler, thank you. I'm gonna check that out, a floral kimono. Rewind at Kohl's, I'll post one. Okay, ladies, cheers. I'm drinking an iced coffee. Um, it's Friday, it's the weekend. Go to the blog, get your checklist, go through your closet, get ready for summer, and I'll see you next time. Mwah! I love you ladies, you made my day. Bye for now.